uh, yeah, um, you guys have faced tough teams two weeks in a row. What kind of prep goes into getting ready for these games? Yeah, just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, obviously, the game plan is going to change with how their defense plays us and how their approach to the game. But just watching film on them from last week uh, to this week, uh, just got to stay focused, I guess, as well. Um, these two, you know, long trips back to back. Some teams that may hurt, I think that we're well prepared for that and we travel well. So we just got to go up there and stay focused and play what our game plan was um, prepared to do. They're undefeated this year. This game could potentially um, be the winner of this game could potentially win the conference. What kind of, is there any pressure on you guys and what challenges do you expect to face on Saturday? Yeah, I think more of that's coming from uh, like outside people. I mean, everybody's saying we all know that two undefeated teams going at it, but uh, just on the practice field and throughout the week, we're all focused and we're not, you know, making this game any bigger than it has to be. And hopefully, you know, the winner of this team's going to win the GLIAC, but you got to take it and you still have three games after that, so you really just got to approach it like any other week. Going along with that, can you kind of talk about the team's mentality and how you guys help each other get through that and not listen to all the hype that surrounds the game? Yeah, it's been, it's almost like going without saying, like, we don't have to tell people to not get into it. And I think that just might come from the maturity that our team's had over the past couple of years. We're not getting too um, carried away with any success that we're having. And um, yeah, we're staying focused and not, it's not really being a problem right now. Just to talk about the job you guys have been doing offensively and, you know, leading in passing efficiency and then you've got the running game that you guys have always had. Just right now, is this what you guys envisioned before the season starts for the full potential of this offense? Yeah, we were definitely hoping that um, coming to this year uh, throughout the summer and stuff that we're going to have more diverse offense and um, that's been able to happen so far. And I just think that that really screws with other teams when they defense a game plan against us that, I mean, you can throw the ball, you can run it, and just with all the athletes that we have, it's going to be hard to stop us. And just talk about the job your defense when you have last week, you know, they got that big interception there that allowed you guys to drive down and get that touchdown before the half. Just uh, how do they keep coming up with these opportunities? Yeah, it, it seems like this year they're really building a lot of moment, momentum for us um, as, as opposed to, you know, getting the ball back at the 20-yard line when they, they get a lot of picks and a lot of big plays that are really helping us uh, come out and get a bigger lead. And then it seems, you know, if they get a pick and we score for them, then they're going to come out and stop the team again. And we just kind of really build off each other's momentum. And it's been getting better all throughout the year, and I, they're going to continue to do that. And kind of talking about the offensive success, offensive linemen don't get much pub, but just talk about the job they've been doing for you guys. Yeah, they're they're amazing. I love those guys. That's uh, without a doubt our closest knit group on the entire team, and they're just uh, they're just such a great group of guys. They never complain about anything. Uh, they get yelled at in practice, and you know they're just going to try to get better. And they're always asking us if we need to do anything, if they want us to do anything for them, and. I mean, they're the most selfless guys on the team, and we, uh, we love them on. I mean, we wouldn't be anything without them.